Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week. In this video, I'm going to be getting Wine to work with NetBSD. Wine is a program that allows Windows applications to work on your operating system that is not Windows. So for example, Linux, Mac OS, NetBSD, FreeBSD and so on and so on. Wine is a useful tool which allows those non-Windows operating systems to run Windows applications. Okay, let's get started right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install Wine. So let me do pkgn, which is a package manager for NetBSD. I'm now going to do install Wine. Press on the enter key. Type down Y. Press on the enter key. And that should start installing Wine. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it looks like there's a message that says in recent versions of NetBSD, disabling cell phone security features is necessary to one wine. Okay, let's do it. Let's do sysctl wvm.user va0 disable is equal to zero. Press on the enter key. That has been disabled, that's looking good. Let me do sysctl w match depth dot user dash ldt is equal to one. Press on the enter key, and that looks like that has worked. So I'm going to do pkg in install wine just to make sure it's running. Cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and reboot this system by typing down reboot. Press on the enter key. Let me type down wine, wine, CFG, press on the enter key. Um, for wine configuration, uh, my mono installer. Let's go ahead and click on to install. And it's downloading. I'll be back. So, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it was able to be installed. We got wine configuration right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and we can change the Windows version from Windows 7 to Windows 10. But I pretty much like Windows 7, so I'm going to click on to apply. And I'll go ahead and select OK. Wine could not find a Gecko package which is needed for application embeddering HTML to work correctly. Wine can automatically download and install it for you. OK, let's go ahead and install it. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got an error message which says um, this program, unidentified, has encountered a serious problem and needs to close. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Um, show details. I'm going to go ahead and close all of it. Okay, so to start using Wine, you just need to type down Wine64. And after that, you just have to um, enter your program. So, for example, I've got Notepad, just type down Notepad plus plus dot exe and that should allow it to run it but that is not installed and yeah so it won't work because it's not installed but if i do wine 64 if i just type down notepad if i press on the enter key as you guys can see i got notepad working and this is one in an exe file and i can start typing within this notepad um so just showing that this um does work i can go to file i can save it I'm going to go ahead to my documents. I click on to download and I'll go ahead and save it as hello.txt. If I click on to save, it should have saved it. But yeah, this is the um, Windows program. But when I tried to run notepad plus plus dot six dot two dot three dot installer dot exe, it will display an error message that says not supported on the system. So I'm assuming that I can't run Notepad++ in NetBSD. It still says not supported on this system. Um, let me go ahead and try to move um, these exe files to the, um, to the Wine folder. 
So for one I'm going to try to copy is going to be a notepad plus plus dot six dot two dot three dot installer dot exe. Let me go ahead and um, copy. I'll go to root. 32, here it is. And then from here I should be able to paste it. I've got notepad plus plus six dot two dot three dot install dot exe. So why not 64? And then if I go ahead and paste it into here, if I know best on the enter key, okay, it says not supporting our system. But we were able to get the um to get the um, notepad to work. Let's try to run the um, NTOSC ML um, exe file to run. So let me go down to properties. Copy that one. Close. If I now do a Y 64 and we can put down the exe file here. If I now press on the enter key. Um, Um, is a DLL file not an executable? I thought it was an executable. It says, yeah, you can see at the end of it. Um, they've got wine devices, wine file. So I could try to do one wine file, wine file. Okay. And as you guys can see, I've got wine file manager working. And I can go browse through this um, through this file manager. So some exe files works from the from my experiment, but I could tell that Notepad plus plus didn't work and Firefox did not work. Um, even on a newer version of Firefox or thirty two bit, I tried out and it didn't work. Um, but if you guys could get it working, just say so down in the description. But I was able to get like for notepad.exe to work as well as so the one file to work as well. So we can run some um, exe files. But for one version this is, is um, wine64 dash dash version. And for version I'm running is 5. So this is outdated but it came with 5.0.5. .5. But I may upgrade it in the future and I don't know, maybe it might be able to run Notepad++. Um, anyway guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.